Okay, today we're looking at Math 2 Unit 7 Worksheet 2, talking about special right triangles. Okay, and so just real quickly, those two special right tri triangles we're talking about today are when we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And as such, we could say that the side lengths here would be X, which would make the hypotenuse, the one across the right angle, equal to X root 2. The other special right triangle we're talking about today is when we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, like such. And if we have a 30 over here and a 60 over there, our small side, the one across from the 30, becomes our X value. The hypotenuse across from the, the 90 degree angle becomes a 2X. And then the one across from the 60 becomes an X root 3. So those are the two special types of triangles we're gonna deal with today. The first page is dealing with the 45s and the second side deals with the 30, 60. Let's take a look at number one first of all. We have a nine right here. We can see it's a 45, 45. And so our other value across over here, x is gonna be equal to nine. That's what that one will be. And across over here, across the hypotenuse, we're gonna say it's x root two, where our x value was nine. And we just put a root two next to it and that becomes our y value. For number three, number three, what we can see is that I already have the, in the form of x root two there. So that x value is what comes back to here and to here. So x is 24 and this y is also 24 for number three. Number five is a little bit different, right? Because they gave us this here as a 44. Now, a couple ways to think about it here. That 44 is the same as in our formula here, or our little setup for triangles, x root two, right? Because that's what happens with a 45 degree triangle. The one across the hypotenuse diagonal from it is gonna be x root two. So 44 is our x root two. So we can solve for x by dividing both sides by a radical two, right? And that makes that go away. So I have this 44 over root two, root two equals x. I can get rid of the root two by doing what I did in the previous lesson by multiplying top and bottom by root two. And so root two times root two is gonna be equal to two. And on the top I have 44 root two when I combine those together there. 44 divided by two is equal to 22. Because half of 44 is 22 and I keep the radical by itself. So my x value is actually 22 root two. And that's what I would use for both X and also for Y right there. All right, let's move down to uh, the next one. Okay, you have a couple word problems here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the one in the middle. Okay, so you can do two other ones. It says that a square has a side length of 11 root two. And that's our side length there. What is the length of the diagonal of the square? Well, the diagonal is the one that's gonna go straight across here, correct? Okay, so that's our diagonal right there. Now, there's a couple ways of thinking about it here. I can draw this like so, and I can say, well, there's my, there's my diagonal, 11 root two, no problem. What's this diagonal gonna be? Well, I could consider this to be, if I wanted to, the 45, 45. So I could say this is 11 root two over here, and so then this becomes that, right, my x value, 11 root two times a root two, right? Because it is gonna be x root two. Well, my x value is 11 root two, and then my root two is just right here. Root two times root two is gonna be two, so 11 times two is 22. So my diagonal is actually gonna be 22. There's another way of thinking about it as well, if you, if you wanted to consider this way. You could look at this as a square, and when I cut the diagonals in half, if I knew this was 11 root two, this becomes now an, uh, the hypotenuse because I have the diagonal lines there. So that's 11 root two, then that makes this length the x value, this length the x value, this would also be 11, and the combination of those lengths, 11 plus 11, is still 22, and that's what I can get there. So another way of looking at it for number eight. Okay, let's take a look at the back side. Again, with our back side, we're looking at a new type of triangle, right? Our 30, 60, 90. So here's our 30, 60, 90. 
we have x, we have 2x, and x root 3 for our kind of formula there for how this is going to work out. So let's take a look at number 11. Okay, so for number 11, oops, get my notes back out here real quick, sorry. Number 11, here we go. Okay, so on number 11, our side that's across from the from the radical, this is our x, or from our 90 degree, this is our 2x side, right? This is our 2x side. The side that's across from our 30, here's my 30, is our x side. And our one across from the 60 is our x root 3 side. And so it might be helpful just to write those out there so you know what you're dealing with, okay? So if this is 2x, then x is gonna be half of that. So if I had 14, this becomes seven. So I have seven on this side. Now that I have my x value, then my one over here is x root three. This becomes seven root three. So y equals seven and x equals seven root three. And that's how that works out. Okay, let's take a look at number 13. Okay, again, across from the 30, that's what we would call our x value. Okay, just for now, it's our x. Across from the hypotenuse one, that becomes our 2x, and this becomes our x root three. We can see in this problem here, they've given you the value of x. x, they said, was eight. So that means that y is equal to eight, and that makes our x value equal to eight times two, which is 16. So x equals 16 and y equals eight, okay? It's just a little crazy because they just change your, your letters around there. I probably should call this A or something that might be a little easier to look at, okay? But I just keep using X. I probably should use A from now on. Number 15, all right, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll call the one across from the 30, our A. The one across from the hypotenuse, our 2A. And the one across from the, the uh, 60 degrees here is gonna be our A root three, okay? So now we have a little bit of a situation, right? To figure this out, hmm, what am I gonna do? This a, or this one here, think about this way. 10 root six, again, is equal to two times a. We can set that equal to what we know our, our kind of setup should be. So if I divide both sides by two, I can find out what a is gonna be. 10 divided by two is five. The radical just stays a radical. So my a value is five root six. Now a we said is over here at x, so that actually equals x. Our y value then, it said was whatever a was with a root three in front. So for y, y is gonna be a, which is five root six times another root three. So six times three in the radical becomes 18. That breaks apart into nine and two, breaks apart into three and three. I get a three on the outside. So three and five together make 15, and I still have the two underneath the radical there for what y is gonna be. So I have 15 root two for number 15 right there. All right, and let's take a look at this last one here, number 17. So let's find the value of each variable once again. So here I have a 45, 45 triangle in this region right there. And again, with the triangles there, that means that this it, across the hypotenuse, that's our a squared value, right? Which makes this b is equal to 12. It also means that a is equal to 12 right there. Now, again, looking here for the 30s, the 30 becomes our a value. The one across from the hypotenuse on the 30, 60, 90 becomes our 2a, and our c becomes our a root 3. We said our a was 12, so 2a becomes 